probably seen a lot of these displays on Pinterest. A lot of times I see them with the full size bin, which I've seen it hung on the wall. It sticks out very far. Um, so we've actually gone ahead and cut them in half. They stick out, you know, uh, probably like three inches from the wall instead of six. So it's a good idea to cut them in half. So uh, let me show you how we did it. Start by using a ruler to measure roughly at the halfway point. Make two dots and then connect them in a straight line. Next, use a circular saw to cut along the line. Repeat these same steps on the other side. You will now have two different boxes, one with slats on the back and one that looks more like a frame. Some of the slats are only held in by a few staples and they're not very secure. So I'm going to add a few nails to strengthen this a bit. Next, I'm using a paint roller to add white paint around the outside and front of each frame. Once the white paint is fully dry, paint the inside using a foam brush. I found blotting the foam brush on the wood filled in the wood best, and then finish with one long pass to smooth out the sponge texture in the paint. If you're going to be hanging these by yourself, a camera can come in handy to figure out placement. Using corner braces, start by securing one side to the frame. Next, add the second brace to the other side. Then I take the frame and screw the first corner brace into the wall. Using a bubble level, adjust the frame until the bubble is in the center. Then secure the second brace. For the boxes with slats on the back, simply secure one corner. Use a bubble level to ensure it is level and then screw in the opposite corner. Next, let's cover up these screw heads. I start by using white paint first, and then come in with the matching teal paint and blend outward. If you like this tutorial, um, give us a big like. If you want to see more content from us, be sure to subscribe. Also, for any of you who want to give this project a go, take some pictures and send it our way. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see ya.